that stigma and that, that, that sort of force you feel sometimes, especially when you're younger in your career, to conform, uh, perform, conform, and just not be uh, sort of n not normal in any way. That's something that you know young people can learn from today. So I want to ask you on that note, Anand. Um, how did you, you know, you you write about beautifully about you know you have a twin brother. You write about the support you've gotten, uh, you know, from friends and family when you were starting to you know, come out, and how did that help your journey to to heal? So yeah, the coming out in the chapter here is about first coming out to my brother, and you know my brother, my twin brother, and my older sister, uh, you know, creating this kind of ecosystem, you know, around me to help me come out to the parents. And you know, that happened. We broke it to the parents, and uh, the same day, my dad took me out and bought me like a punching, a tr uh, you know, a, a technicolor punching. He says, "This is what you people like to do: throw some glitter here." <laughs> so, so uh, I just. <laughs> no, I know. I mean, because he's reading everything about we are thing in Navarat times and getting class. <laughs> so, uh, so I was like, okay, it's a stereotype, but it's okay. We handle it. There's a journey that you also have to go on. And uh, so uh, that's that's the sort of ecosystem. My sister in law was sitting here. You know, she and my brother. They all created this you know environment around me for me to feel you know like who I really wanted to be. Yeah. And they encouraged it, and then you know that circle kept expanding to you know family, relatives. Obviously, you know people at uh, work. Some of them are very understanding, <coughs> very close friends. <coughs> then you know Lucknow and the the spaces over there are obviously very limited. So Madhi, who's sitting right here, who uh, I tend to call Mother Earth because she just embraces <laughs> everyone, and uh, she embraced me also in, uh, in Lucknow. And she says, "Okay, fine, I let you be gay in my shop." So, <laughs> So, so you know, like you know, you need. I, I had the the uh, you know the 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 good fortune of having these kind of people yeah. around me when I needed them. You know, people uh, who made those interventions in my life. Yeah. And I think that's very important. That you need to go out and find those kind of people who will help you create that safe space. I don't know if that's the good word to sort of to describe it, but uh, you know, uh, that that safe space that you need to be yourself and to flourish as a person. And you know become more self-aware because all these years you're living in denial and it's not, you're just running away from yourself and you need to recognize who you are and become more self-aware and that's the kind of effort that is required and the people that are required around you yeah, to make it happen.